Um, after college, um, I worked as a scribe for a family med doctor. I also worked as a scribe for some ER docs, but um, my family doctor that I worked for, Dr. Doyle, he was incredible. Um, I just saw the amount of respect that he got from um, you know, like his patients and just how they trusted him with their lives and not just, um, you know, like medically, but like emotionally, spiritually, they would come to him for advice on everything and anything. Um, and I think for me, just being in medical school and just being here at UIW SOM, the more I get to interact with the family doctors, um, the more I like fall in love with it, so. For me, I have students coming up and being like, I don't want to be a family doctor. And I'm like, well, why? And they're like, because you don't really get to do that much. You just prescribe medications for, you know, colds or coughs. And then you send people on their merry way. And I'm like, no, there's just so many things you can do with family med. And I think people don't realize how you can tailor that to your personality. A lot of myths that I hear is, um, People choose family medicine as a last resort. Um, people are family med doctors because their board scores are low. Um, but all that is untrue. I've met doctors who've scored high enough to be orthopedic surgeons um, or dermatologists or ophthalmologists and they're like, I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to be a family doctor. That fit my personality better. Sometimes people will post something on Facebook like, oh, I failed this exam, so I guess I'm just gonna be a family doc. And I'm like, you know, actually you need to be smarter to be a family doc because you have to know so much information. Another thing is that family docs don't get paid as much as specialists. Um, which can be true, but I mean, if you're in medicine for the money, then you're not even in it for the right reason. And I think just being in medicine for the money, that's not even gonna get you through. Like you need perseverance, you need passion, like money, it shouldn't even be a thing. Choose family medicine if you're a proponent for the people and have a passion for the peripheries.